YouTube, Bird Brother here. Hey, I just wanted to do a quick video about my bees. I've really been wanting to get into taking care of bees for some time now, and this year I finally pulled the trigger on it. I didn't really do this to make money or anything like that. I did this because of what I've been hearing, what's been happening to the bees, and the more I've been doing it, the more I'm learning about bees, they're having a tough time right now, and they really do need people to do things like this, even if it's just one hive somewhere, uh, just to help them out and keep them in existence. Plus, they're just they're an amazing insect. When you start learning about them and the things that they can do, it's it's uh, it's pretty mind blowing. I'll, I'll just share a quick story with you about them, and then we'll end the video. So, all the worker bees are female, and the male bees are drone bees. The worker bees are the ones that take care of the hive. They basically build everything. They assist the queen, who's also a female. They go out, they get the pollen and then nectar, whatever they're bringing back in. That's all the female bees. The guy bees, the drone bees, all they do, they have fun, they chill out, and they have sex. That's their whole purpose. What they do all summer long, they're just like a playboy. They're hanging out in a the hive, they're messing it up, they're crapping in there, they're doing whatever. You know, and they fly around, they're, they're drones. The girls are in there working, working, working nonstop. You know, as soon as it's daylight, they're out there foraging, getting stuff. The guys, they're chilling. When it's time for them to do their deed, the drones fly out and they find a queen and they mate with her. And I, you know, I've heard the number, I think she can store like over two million sperm. Like, I mean, they, they just load her up, right? Then they die. The ones that don't die come back to the hive. But when this time of year comes and it starts to cool down and winter's coming, the girls kick all the guys out, they seal the hive up, and they drop the hive down to a smaller population that's just all females. So they get through the winter and then in the spring they'll bring back the guys again. I think a lot of females relate to that in, in their real life. It's one interesting fact about bees. There's a lot of things that these little guys do, or I should say little girls do, that just absolutely amazing like the way they gps things the way they orientate and and the way they they deal with uh things within the colony they're an amazing creature that we have here that actually helps us with our existence you know through the food chain pollinating and then the benefits of their hard work which would be you know the the beeswax and, the, and obviously the honey and then you can get the pollen and the propolis some of that has uh medicinal purposes so there's just a lot to them that I did not know about, even though I had been starting to study up on them until this last year or so. Just wanted to share that with you. There's more to come on that. I'm gonna start pulling high boxes out, showing you how they go together, how that works. And if you have any interest at all, hopefully this will be uh, helpful for you. As always, I hope you enjoyed this and I'll see you in the next video.